What is the most useless ability on Blade Ball? Yes, when many people seem to get asked this question, they think it's Stash, Platform, or many other abilities, such as maybe even Pulse. But what if I told you, those are not the most useless ability in the game? What? No, it's a new ability that the game is releasing. Yes, it is. The Christmas ability on day 22. Let's go back and check it out. Yes, guys, Santa Claus, normally when he brings us joy, he has brought us nothing but a useless ability this time. We're talking about the new ability called Tax that you get when you talk to him and log in for 20 two different days during the christmas time so currently we are at at least 15 16 maybe more days it's day 18 but you know not all of us log in every single day but once you talk to him on day 22 you get this ability called tagged and when you look at it closer it looks like just a curve a dodgeball i don't know why bro but i'm gonna tell you guys why i think this is the most useless ability that is coming to the game now let's make a list of pros and cons so the pros of this ability are one it's free two it's free three it's free now let's talk about the cons we haven't gotten this ability yet Bruh. to test or anything but going by all the information i've gathered from different players different other people that have assumed or have like perks inside the game i have come to all the information that i'm going to be giving you guys today about this ability but before i begin on that I, i'm giving away nebula's lightning to a random subscriber look at these beauties right here i'm giving away nebula's lightning to a random subscriber so all you guys gotta do is join my discord or go on my twitter and the giveaway is right there nothing more to subscribe go there comment like and yeah that's it it's so simple it takes like no time and let's continue i was talking about the cons of this ability right so the cons list, let's write it down. Con number one, it curves. Yes, guys, it curves. Now, let me show you why this is a con and not like a pro, okay? We had to hop into a game right here. And once we, oh, let me just turn my graphics up a bit. Yes, we are inside the game. Now, once the ball goes faster towards us, I can show you guys what this is super useless on our ability. Okay, I didn't get to curve it that time. It has to go a bit faster. As you just saw that dude using it right there. When he hit it forward, it went backward, it curved that way and went to a player. Now this is super useful in 1v1 because all you gotta do is aim at a direction. Let's say the ball is going super fast. I aim that way, the ball will curve that way before going to a player. If I aim that way, it'll curve that way before going to a player. If I aim up, it'll go up before going to a player. If I go backwards, it'll go back before I get before it goes to a player. Now pros use this to, to win games in ranked 1v1s, everything clashes. Yeah, it only works when you're going fast, but see, I, it went slow and it curved up a little bit before going into that player or that player haha <laughs> you're kind now you're thinking okay but what does this relate to having tact ability being useless let me explain we can already curve the ball why would we want ability that can just curve the ball when we can do it for completely free without filling up our ability slot like come on guys think about it okay what do you want oh Okay, now we turn on AFK. Another con of this ability is that it fills up the ability slot. Well, I already said that. Because if it does what it does, and it fills up the ability slot, we can put amazing ability that we also got for free. It's flash counter. Because there's flash counter, which is actually really good. Con 2, it still only curves the ball, okay? Like, what other abilities don't do that? Like, oh my god, Rapture doesn't do that. Raging Deep Flag doesn't do that. Calming Deep Flag doesn't do that. Death Slash, Infinite Titan Blade. Even Force Field can do that. You just equip Force Field and aim your mouse backwards. Boom, you curve the ball. Now let's talk about why, how this ability could be good. Now there are a couple ways this ability could be good. One, it's a passive ability. Yes, guys. It's a passive ability like this that just curves the ball random. So let's say it combines this squad jump and it combines the reap. So every time you get a kill, it curves the ball a little bit more and makes it a bit faster when you hit it. Now that could be a game changing ability. Two, it makes the ball go faster and curve. But we already have an ability like that, which is Raptor. So if it's the same as Raptor, just with a different decal, people are gonna be pissed. And three, I'm completely wrong and it can be doing something completely different. Now those are the only three ways that this ability could be good at the game. At the end of the day, this ability is completely free for you guys to use, right? All you gotta do is log- oh, that's fall. All you gotta do is log in 22 different times during Christmas and come on, if it's winter break and we all play Blade Ball, if you're watching this, you're interested in Blade Ball, you gotta have logged in for at least 22 days. The other thing is, if it's exactly like Rapture, the Rapture, you had to spin so many times to get it. Now, I have an infinite spin method video that I have made that I will link down below for you guys to watch. This method allows you to get infinite amount of spins to hopefully get Rapture or Crescendo and it still is not patched, guys. Oh. Extra playtime rewards. Clean. Yay. Open one on free. What I get? What I get? Battle axe. Okay. The game hates me when it's giving me battle axe. Like, bro, give me a legendary. 
Now since it's a free version of Rapture that uses login 22 different days to get, it'll save a lot of people who have terrible luck, and I mean terrible luck, like in getting Rapture. It took me more than 200 spins to get a Rapture. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> I have terrible luck, and some people have it worse than me. Some people have been on the 300, 400 spins, I still haven't gotten it. That fixes that issue. Guys, let me show you what Rapture does, okay? So, I have already used it by accident when I right click it, like, play ball, face this, like, I don't even have my hotkey set to that, like, why is it still using it? Oh my god, oh, support a creator, give me this code, people. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about when I say it curves the ball and makes it go fast. The Rapture is the best representation for this. Okay, the ball is coming towards me, I don't know if I still have my cooldown yet, because it always shows that dark thing down here, but even though you... I recall I think it's good. Highlighting. Let's see, let's see. Why? The when the ball comes to me, I'm gonna hit it away if I don't die. Oh my god, it's so it's going faster. I'm scared. Mama. Oh, I'll get it. Okay, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, the Reaper dude died. <laughs> Let me go for this person right here. Bruh. Okay. Why? Yeah, that's what I mean. It curves the ball. See, it just went faster and it went up. That's what I mean. The tactability will do, except, you know, slower. Because, or else it'll be a recreation of Rapture. Now, there is one thing that this could also be useful for. I mean, I said this before that it's probably bad for rank players, but I got rethinking. Hmm. What? Would it be bad for rank players completely? Now listen, when the rank players are versing top each other, the ball always ends up going fast, right? They always curve, so they always gotta go like this, like that, and center their focus back as fast as they can. So having this ability that automatically curves it for them could actually be useful. What I mean is, rather than having to go like this, go like this, go like that, all of that, they can just stay focused to stare at the person that they're aiming towards and just curve it without even doing anything. Because when, when you're at like a rank and you're going super fast, you don't really have time to use many of your abilities. So this could be helpful towards them, guys. Now, I don't really play rank much and I the highest elo I've got is like 2,500 because you know, I just don't really play rank. But, so if there are any rank players, let me know if this ability would be useful for you. I'm just assuming right now that it might be useful for you guys when you're playing rank because See, it, it's going slow right now, but imagine that ball going fast and you have to go back like that. Like, I can't even center it when it's going that slow. So all the rank players, when it's going super fast and they have like a lot of adrenaline pumping through, you have to go like this and this. Like, that, that's what makes you one of the top players, I guess. Just going, being able to center it, being used to the game, doing everything possible. We went over a couple of factors in this video. We went over rank, we went over what this ability will do, what what can make it better. If uh, Since it's free, you know, it could be just good because it's free. If it's going to cost another ability like rapture and many 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 other things in this video that, that's all the information i gather if you guys have extra information about this new ability do let me know and again guys you can get it on 22 different logins from santa claus over here he's here to bring us joy but hopefully he actually brings the joy santa claus okay just make this feel good okay you better make me so at the end of the day it all depends on how what you guys think if you can't curve this ability is useful for you if you can curve this ability is useless for you tell me what you guys think what what do you guys think of this ability it's a useful or useless for you thank you all for watching this video i hope you, it did inform you a little bit more and you guys did enjoy subscribe if you have not already we're trying to break 7k by the end of the year and we are super close to that see you guys in the next video